<clears throat> they are ladies and gentlemen. They are my colleagues. Um, my novel, theoretical discovery in the molecular adaptive immunology, will change whole wrong contemporary conceptions and theories of molecular adaptive immunology and will bring novel super antibody technology for curing of all of infectious diseases and cancer. Until today, the contemporary adaptive immunology is using clonal selection theory as a main theory of adaptive immunology for explanation of how adaptive immune system is working in mammals. The clonal selection theory was proposed by Dr. Frank McFarlane Barnett in 1957 and was accepted by all research scientists as a main theory in the adaptive immunology area. In 1960, Dr. Frank McFarlane Barnett had been awarded with the Nobel Prize in Medicine. But after five years of my theoretical research between 2010 and 2015, uh, my research result did show that clonal selection theory is totally wrong. First, clonal selection theory is alleging that uh, in bone marrow, in bone, in bone marrow, every newly synthesized knife B cells, after random rearrangement, are randomly getting only one type of immunoglobulin even before meeting with antigen epitopes. Uh, after uh, meeting with its antigen epitope in the secondary lymphoid organs, lymph nodes and spleen, they gave clones of uh, naive B cells. But it is wrong. Because at first, uh, if it is so, organism will lose billions of B cells uh, are not using uh, majority of them. Organism cannot be so wasteful. Second, at the second clonal selection theory couldn't explain why do naive B cells have to go so-called into affinity maturation? They, uh, there is no explanation. Therefore, they called it hypermutation phenomenon. So, clonal selection theory couldn't explain why immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin D do not have affinity to the chosen antigen epitopes, epitope and uh, that and what are their true function force how immunoglobulins uh, have taken an affinity which is be, uh, beginning with immunoglobulin G, which is the first and abundant immunoglobulins in the body, 75% all of immunoglobulins. Fifth, what is the real mechanism of polyclonality of B cells? As you see, clonal selection theory couldn't answer these uh, questions and phenomena. I have theoretically discovered two novel 
main mechanisms which will change whole uh, molecular adaptive immunology conception and series and will bring very powerful novel superantibody technology for curing of all of infectious diseases and cancer. My novel discoveries are first, first discovery, all of naive B, cell, B cells which are uh, synthesizing in bone marrow have the same structure. There is no differences between all naive B cells. There, are, uh, there is uh, not random rearrangement at clonal, uh, as clonal selection uh, theory is alleging. All of uh, naive B cells have uh, on membrane surfaces uh, the same immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin D, which are not often to an antigen epitope. They are using as a receptor for interaction with dendritic cells for getting one of the intraluminal vesicles with uh, uh, full of antigen epitopes on major the compatibility too from multivesicular body of dendritic cell. TH cells do not have this mechanism, therefore unable to be activated without naive B cells, which is already have got one of the intraluminal vesicles with uh, plenty of uh, antigen epitopes on major compatibility too. Uh, TH cell activation and production of massive TH cell cytokines, uh, which naive B cell has got from dendritic cell. TH cell connected with small amount of uh, antigen epitope on dendritic cell uh, cannot be activated by dendritic cell. TH cell just docking on dendritic cell uh, but are not being activated. Second discovery. My second discovery after interaction and activation of TH cell by naive B cells TH cell is producing massive amount of cytokines which are bringing activate which are bringing uh, activation of uh, naive B cells on the TH cytokines naive B cell produces unknown yet enzyme uh, which connects triplets of uh, uh, transfer RNAs with uh, activated amino acids which are non-covalently connected with often amino acids of uh, antigen epitope and creates short endosomal RNA, eRNA, in the endosome of uh, naive B cells. Then with the help of nuclear receptors, this nascent eRNA relocates to VDJ section of heavy chain and replace replaceable model, it is PND NP model of heavy chain DNA and 
that way we part of heavy chain is becoming often to give an antigen epto. I have called this mechanism reverse pathway mechanism or reverse pathway theory which explain why immunoglobulin G is the first and abundant uh, and often immunoglobulins in the body. Uh, my novel conception and reverse pathway theory scientifically uh, explain all of real processes which are happening in molecular adaptive immunology. Contemporary clonal selection theory is wrong and have to replace with my novel conception and reverse pathway theory, which will bring a novel and very powerful superantibody technology for curing of all of infectious diseases and cancer. Thank you. Dr. Victor Alexander, PhD in medicine. Thanks.